Hi, and welcome to another episode of Peacemag TV. If you run an online shop using WooCommerce and you've been thinking of using OceanWP or you already are using OceanWP, you're really going to love this latest major update that they've released that really allows us to get in and start creating some amazing looking online shops. So in this video, I want to show you some of the new things that have come out, show you how to use them, what they're like, and show you how they can really enhance the end user's experience when operating your online shop. So without further ado, let's jump into the dashboard of WordPress and take a look at some of these new features. So there's one thing that I really like about Ocean WP, and that's the fact that it's constantly been updated and expanded with great new features. If you use the commercial add-on pack, you're going to get extra things in there. But even if you use the free version, there's a ton of great functionality straight out of the box that you can start to use. And this latest update gives us a whole raft of things specifically for WooCommerce. So we've got a couple of different things, such as we've got a nice quick view, so we can simply click on a product, get a nice quick view of that. So we can add it to our basket, look at description details and so on. Really cool. We've got off-site or off-page filtering, which allows us to create custom off-page filter lists. So we can go through and allow people to search. We can show categories, a whole ton of things. And I'm going to show you just some of the new features in this video. So we've seen a look at this quick view. So let's just jump over to the dashboard now and take a look at some of the options. So I'm in the customizer for Ocean WP, And you can see on the left-hand side, we've got a ton of options. And what we're specifically looking for is the WooCommerce section. So once we open that up, you can see if you've used this sort of theme before, you're going to see there's a ton of new options in here. Things like store notice, general, menu cart, we can go through and control the entire checkout process and customize various different aspects of that. Now obviously colors and things, you can still do all those things, but we can go through and set up some of these options now. So let's take a look at things like the store notice. So we can go under there and you can see we can enable a store-wide site notice. So we can click to enable that and any page within our store will show this notice at the bottom that allows anybody that's using it to see exactly what's going on. If we've got a special offer, if we've got maintenance or a problem, we can pop that in the bottom and that's all built into Ocean WP. So let's just disable that. And as you can see, it updates in real time inside the customizer. Now, some of the things that you tweak and adjust in here won't actually show up inside the customizer, which is a little frustrating, but I'm sure there's a technical reason behind why we've got that. So what I recommend you do is hit that publish button, jump over to your test site, refresh the page, and make sure that whatever changes or tweaks you're doing are applied to the actual page. So let's just jump back out of this store notice and take a look at some of the other options. So we go to general, you can see we've now got things like custom Wu commerce sidebars we can add a wishlist icon so if we're using the yith woocommerce wishlist plugin we can now add that and integrate a wishlist icon directly into your ocean wp site which is great to see that they're supporting some of these other third-party plugins we can also do things like display the cart when a product is added so when you add something it'll show the cart and show the fact that you've added something to it which is a great way of allowing you to sort of feedback to when they do an action we can also go through and you can see with things like these sale badges, we can adjust those so we can do things like we can change them to be in square to circle. We can change them to be on sale text or percentage. And you'll see when that refreshes, now that changes and updates accordingly. We can change the style of that, the color and so on, all very easily. We've got the category page. You can see you've got an option to display the featured image. So if you've associated a feature image with the actual category when you create them and apply a description to them, then it'll allow you to disable or enable that picture to be shown as part of the category that the end user is viewing. So that's pretty cool. Let's just jump back out of there and we've got the menu cart option. And we've got the menu cart at the top up here and you can see we've got a nice little sort of pop over that'll show us exactly what's in our cart. The subtotal allow us to check out or view our basket as well as being able to do things like control the visibility and the style of this particular menu, we can also display a mini cart on the mobile device. So that allows us to get a great looking miniature cart when we're using or end users are using a mobile device to give a really good looking display. So that's good to see that mobiles are being supported in such a fundamental way. However, if we scroll down, you can see we can go through and adjust all the styling on this. We've also got the option to choose two different styles of actual drop down. So you can see we've got compact and we've got spacious. We can also control the width of this particular cart. So we can control exactly what that looks like. If we come over, you can see we can adjust the width of that. If we want to make it smaller. You can see it all updates in real time. So we can fine tune and tweak that to get exactly what we want to make sure it fits in with the design style that we're going for. Pretty cool. 
And like I say, you've got all the control options then to customize all the styling of both the desktop version and the specific mobile cart styling version. So great to see you can style them differently depending upon the device that's being used. Let's just jump back up and go back out of this. If we come into the archives option, you can see we've got a couple of different things in here. We can do things like your sorting, shop display, so you show products, categories, categories and products and so on. We can also come down and we can do things like we can apply a simple display filter button. Now by selecting that, what we do is we add a filter button to our page. Unfortunately, it's not showing at the moment, but if I just jump over to our test page, you can see this is our filter button. If we click on there, what that does is it pulls up an off-page filter section, which we can then populate through the widgets area. We've got a new custom element in there that allows us to drag and drop any kind of widget we want into it. And I'll take a look at that in a moment. We can show you how you can add search filters in there, a whole range of different things that are part of WooCommerce. So that's pretty cool. We can add that in there, and it makes it a nice streamlined interface face where we still have all that functionality where people can search on categories they can go through and fine-tune based upon price and a whole ton of other things so that's pretty cool we can also go through and specify exactly what text we want to use on this so if filter isn't necessarily the word that you want you could apply anything you want in there we've also then got things like the element positioning so you can see this allows us to fine-tune and tweak exactly what's going to be displayed under any product so if we want to we can get rid of sort of things like the description we can get rid of image whatever we want to do. We can also control the actual alignment of this information. So if we want to put it to the left, we can apply it to the left, the right, center, and so on. If we scroll down, you can see we've got pagination on there. And what we can do is we can easily change that from being standard to infinite scroll. So we've got some different options available. So let's hit publish. Let's now take a look before we go any further with this, let's just jump back out of here and take a look at that filter bar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to my widgets and that allows me to customize any of the widgets. And you'll see we've got off canvas filters, which is a new section that's been installed as part of this Ocean WP update. So now what we can do is we can easily go in there and add anything we want to allow the end user to use that filter section on the left hand side that pops in when the button's clicked to do whatever they want. So we could do things like product search. So we can simply add that in there. So we'll just put that into the off canvas filter. We'll give it a title and we'll just say product search we'll hit save on there we'll come down now and we can do things like if we want to we can say uh, let's have a little look what options we've got we've got product categories for example so we can put that up there so it keeps the ability to keep a nice simple and streamlined interface we can then customize exactly what's being displayed on there we've even got things like filter products by rating by attributes by price and so on so let's just add the by price on there and drop that up as well and finally let's take a look if we've got the option for recently viewed products there we go so we can drop that in there as well so we've now created a custom off canvas filter section so what we need to do now is come back to our page refresh this to make sure that any of those changes have been applied hit the filter and now you see all those options are available inside our off page filter section, which is great. Like I say, it gives you a nice way to keep your interface streamlined, but still have all the tools and functions you want to give a fully fledged navigable site that allows you to search for products in a much easier fashion. So that's pretty cool. We can click to get rid of that. So that's just one of the other new features that's been added to this latest Ocean WP update. So we've also got some really cool new updates inside the individual or single product page. As you can see, we've got a couple of additional images down the bottom. And by default, in normal themes with WooCommerce, they're listed exactly the same as you see them here, which is underneath the main picture. But we can fine tune and tweak that if we want to. So let's come into the single product. Let's scroll down. You can see we've got thumbnails layout and we've got the option for horizontal or vertical. So we can click and we can add those into the left hand side now, which is pretty cool. We've also got the option to go through and see the next or previous products. So this is a great way of allowing the end user to simply click through and find the next product. Take a look at that. Once you go to that, you can see we can also jump back to the previous one. And it's all pretty simple and straightforward. And like I say, this is a really nice layout. So that's pretty cool. One thing I would like to see, which you kind of have inside Astra, is the ability to adjust the position of the main image and also to adjust the width of the actual description column in the image column. It would be great to be able to sort of fine-tune that to get, so we say, sort of two-thirds, one-third, so you can really fine-tune and tweak the layout. So that would be pretty cool to see in a future update. But even for now, it's a really cool addition to allow us to go in and fine-tune and tweak, get a little bit more creative. 
Obviously, we can go in and disable or enable any of the options we have available. We could even go through and do the things like the tabs position, horizontal and vertical, but these are all kind of things that have been in there for quite some time. Now, another one of those really cool things to help you with conversions and making sales on your WooCommerce site is the new display floating bar. We can enable or disable this, and what it'll do is, as you scroll down the page, it'll put a pop-up section at the top that gives you an Add to Basket or Add to Cart button that makes it really easy on longer pages to simply allow the end user to click and add that product. So let's take a look at that in action. So we'll activate that, we'll hit Publish, and we'll jump over to our page and refresh that so we can see this how it actually operates. So all we're going to do is scroll down the page, and when we get to a certain point, you can see that now comes up and saying exactly what product we've got selected, the price, we can add the quantity, and we can directly add that to the basket. So a really cool way of being able to help the user add a product when they're scrolling through your page should they want to. As with everything, it's really customizable, and like I say, you can disable or enable it with a flick of a button, just hit publish, and it's on or off. So again, a really cool add-on addition for the new WooCommerce update in OceanWP. So with any online store, any barrier or blockage that gets in the way of the end user making a purchase is a bad thing. With that in mind, OceanWP have brought in a distraction-free option. Now the distraction-free option, as its name suggests, takes away some of the distractions as part of the checkout process. So we can enable distraction-free cart and distraction-free checkout, or we can have one or the other. And what it basically does is strip off some of the extra things on the page that are not necessarily needed when you actually want to allow a checkout session. So if we choose distraction-free cart, we should find that the areas like the footer, the navigation and so on, all disappear to give us a simple and streamlined page. The same also goes and holds true if we do a distraction-free checkout. It'll disable and get rid of any of those distractions. So let's try that. So let's just proceed to checkout. And you'll see that we've got a normal checkout page with our navigation and our footer and everything in place. If we choose distraction-free, those objects, those areas of the site will be disabled to give us a simple, streamlined interface for the end user. If you want to take it one step further, you can also enable multi-step checkout. And what that'll do is that'll break the actual checkout process into smaller pieces. So we'll check that option and you'll see that that will not update anything on this page because it needs to be refreshed. But if we hit publish and we jump over to our test site, we can take a look on there. So let's just go to our cart and click on checkout. And we'll find now we get the streamlined distraction free layout. And we've also got three steps to our actual checkout process. So we've now got a really simple streamlined way to allow the end user to check out with none of those distractions to get in the way. So there we go. That pretty much covers all the new different options that have been added to the Ocean WP theme in the latest update that kind of focuses very heavily on WooCommerce. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified whenever there's new content added to the site. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel or anything you'd like to see covered in future videos, please pop those in the comments section below. And if you're thinking of purchasing the full version of Ocean WP, please consider using the affiliate link in the description below. It gives a small percentage back to the channel for every purchase made through it, but doesn't cost you a single penny more. Well, until next time, take care.